Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning in and welcome to the class. I want to start right away with one silly exercise, right? So, number one. Number two. And number three. Now let's try to combine those three together. Let's pick up the pace. Very good. I'm sure all of you could do this. Now let's carry on. Now we can add more of a fluidity into this uh, sound. All right, now let's introduce maybe different rhythms. My name is Igor Novikov and this is my master class. We're gonna come back in a second to this silly game. Uh, but first, uh, let me give you a little bit of uh, my history and uh, tell you a little bit more about myself. Uh, I danced Latin and was a national medalist and as well as Blackpool UK and international rising star champion. As well, now we dance with my partner Alexander, we dance American smooth category. Uh, but leaving this aside, so this is just a um, little bit about my background, but really I wanted to come back to our little exercise and uh, to bring up why in the first place we started with this. Well, I'm sure when uh, we started with just a simple one, simple two and simple three. Everyone had a very easy time to do this. I know maybe some of you say, oh, I can't click. Well, I can't click as well in my right hand, but it's uh, beside the point. So anyway, it was very plain. It was very simple. Um, but going forward, when we added the sound to it, when we added the fluidity to it, when we started to change the rhythms, when we uh, try to uh, maybe sometimes click this way, Sometimes this way, we could clap this way. We can bring a different energy to this. So now things maybe become more complicated. How do we control this? How do we stay in the moment? And how do we uh, still have the freedom and ability to express? Well, it all starts with basics. And you see, the, the thing is, to get to the top, to get to the, your own excellence, there is no shortcut. It all starts with or. But as better you learn, as better you, uh, as more free you become in those things, so there you can express yourself in a better way. And we, We'll do the same thing in our ballroom, like American dancing today. Uh, we start with basic things. And when I say basic, I do not mean simple or easy. I mean essential. Just like the food, water, shelter are essential things for our life, there are certain things that are essential for our dancing. And one of those things would be our feet. So I would like to separate that subject into two categories. So the first column would be the foot position. And the second column would be foot articulation or footwork. So even though they are closely related, I like to think of them in a separate manner. So the foot 
position is something you can take a picture of and you can define if it's a good or not such appealing foot position. So when working in foot positions, we really have just, uh, we're building the stability, we're building the strength and we're building the uh, stretch of our feet. So how far they can stretch, how far they can flex, uh, how we can, uh, which edge of the foot we can use. And when we're talking about um, foot work or foot articulation, well, uh, it's a little bit uh, different subject, more things are involved. We're not only interested in actual position of the foot, but we're interested in how feet uh, move in relationship to the whole body. Uh, so it's hard to judge uh, footwork if we don't see the movement, the whole movement. Movement of your body, express, uh, movement of your um, of your torso, of your arms, of your uh, legs, of your feet. So it's including, it's much more complex thing. Um, I like to think about it as articulation or uh, uh, art in movement. Um, so let's go back to foot positions. Now all of us can stand up if you are sitting down and we will start with very, very simple things. So uh, we can practice this, not even, we don't even need much space. We can be in place and we just establishing our foot positions. So we only have really three foot positions. Number one is flat. Now, if you take a look at my right foot, and I'll show it from different angles, the right foot is now solid on the ground, especially for you guys I wore this red sock so you can see uh, it more obvious. Um, so the foot stays now flat, so we feel like we're rooted into the ground. So it's very solid sense. There is no wobble, there is no slipping. Foot is fully on the floor with the weight towards the ball. So the second foot position, we keep uh, following my right leg. The second foot position would be the ball of the foot. And when we talk about the ball of the foot, this is what we mean. So, is this the ball of the foot? Well, yes, my heel is on the floor, but really we, it's not defined enough to say that this is ball. So what we're trying to do working on the foot positions to see how far we can take that position, what is gonna be the arch, what is the line, if you like to think about it, what is the line, what is the shape of your foot and your ankle? And you can see now that it's very, very much extended, right? So it has still the same sense of rooting down into the floor. So it's not all loosey, it's not all wobbly, but it's purely, simply rooted into the ground. So the finally third position, foot position, would be toe. And we keep following this right leg, right leg guys. Yeah, so we, you can uh, mirror me right now. So. This is going to be our toe position, all right? So it can be placed to the side, it can be placed forward, it can be placed behind, but all of this position, it can be placed underneath the body, but that's the toe. So now what we're going to do, we're going to discuss the second subject of foot positions, which is the edges. So. If you imagine the line between your first and second toe that goes to the back of your heel and you draw an imaginary line there, this is where our weight normally is. Now, how do we keep weight from rolling outside? Okay, so I'm gonna lift my trousers, excuse my nakedness, but if I'm gonna take my shin bone 
and I am going to rotate it outwards or inwards, more inwards, that will determine what edge of the foot I'm standing on. As I mentioned earlier, we have two, so we'll call this neutral and we can bring the weight more towards the inside edge of the foot. But again, I will do it to the extreme, right? So we will go from one, you can see how my weight wants to roll outside, to neutral. And if I keep rotating this shin bone, it will take me even more, even further towards the inside edge of the foot. Now, together with this, because this bone has changed, the whole structure is changing now. Now your thigh is engaged, your body is engaged, you have a beautiful posture, beautiful setup. And we didn't move yet, right? So it's only purely about your foot positions. All right, now we're going back with you to, uh, and I would like to discuss the body weight over the standing leg uh, and what foot position we can use. So when you have a flat foot position like I do have now, again following my right leg, you can see that 100% of my weight is on that leg. So you, your foot, the flat foot can carry up to 100% of your body weight. Next is the ball of the foot. Well, ball of the foot can also carry up to 100% of your body weight. So if I'm rising on the ball of my foot now, I'm still carrying 100% of my weight on it. But if we talk about the toe, toe in our Latin American dancing or in ballroom dancing, we can't carry the entire weight on a toe, right? So we can only use that toe as a reference point. What does it mean? So that means when we know toe, it doesn't slide and slip without our awareness. So we still have our toe on the ground, hooked, our foot, our heel is hooked to the floor, and we can maneuver our body, but you can see how Ooh, the toe stays in the same point. We can also rotate. Yaka, tika, ta, and the foot will stay. Let's work the left foot now. You can see how we reach the toe. Now it stays on the same point. So it doesn't slip. Watch the bad way. So we don't slide and slip while we're turning. We not wobble. We, we don't try to close our leg in already. So it's a very precise manner. So working on the feet again is going to build a couple things. First, you will build the strength. Strength in your ankle, in your foot, and you also will improve your lines. So remember, footwork is more about the picture line. So if you have a beautiful foot extension, you have beautiful extended line from your toe, through your ankle, through your leg, to your back, to your neck, to the top of your, uh, uh, of your head, to your fingertips. So it's all creating one line, but we didn't move yet. And, of course, it's also building the strength, because if you uh, decide to carry up to 100% of your body weight on the ball of the foot, you have to be aware which edge of, the, of that ball of the foot you're on, so it doesn't go uh, into wobble. Because I see this all the time when um, we try to uh, pivot, let's say, on our foot. Let's say we're doing the forward walk turning, or we're doing the uh, spiral and people try to lift their standing heel off the floor but without awareness that the foot is actually wobbly, sleepy, weak in a way, right? So the basic way to do the forward walk turning, if we're focusing on our footwork, would be to maintain the weight on the ball of this right foot 
and let the heel pivot around it. Okay? So you can see how the foot remains flat. So with the heel, if you're uh, wearing the shoe, your heel is going to scrape that floor. So it's not going to, it's not going to lift. Now, later on, if you decide that you want to challenge yourself, and let's say you want to use the spiral in Roomba um, over, and do the spiral over uh, two bars of music, you can afford to go up on the ball of the foot, do the spiral on the ball, and then exit into the next walk. I'll show you what I mean. So if I'm right now doing my forward walk turning, I mean a forward walk into the spiral, you can see, and I decide to go to the ball of the foot, you can see how it still stays solid on the top of the ball. There is no bubble. So, uh, how can you improve those feet? Well, I think important is not to just rush through things. Before you make speed and fluidity your priority, uh, work on the uh, details on, uh, of how your foot transitions through every single position. So I will turn back to you so you can follow me guys and we will do the exercise, very very simple exercise. Uh, let's pay attention to the right leg first. So you can see how it's flat. Now first rise to the ball, finish to the toe. Come back flat to the ball, to the toe, flat to the ball, to the toe. What would be, this will build a better understanding for how your feet are, work, uh, are working yes, and what your foot positions are. So rather than going from here to here, from here to here, you can see how I'm now skipping the middle part. I'm, I'm skipping the ball of my foot. So it's a flat, then it's a ball, and then it becomes a toe. And let's repeat this again. Flat, now ball. Make sure that your foot doesn't wobble, yeah? So it stays on inside edge. Remember what we did? We turned that uh, shin bone inside. So the shin bone is not gonna be outwards, but the shin bone is turned inside. And then we're going to the toe. Again, flat, ball, toe. Flat, ball, toe. Very good. Let's switch our legs. E. So we start now, we focus now on working on our left foot. So you can see flat, ball, Toe. Again, flat, ball, toe. Flat. Now increase the foot pressure through the inside edge of the ball of the foot. Keep that shin bone turned in. Reach the toe of your left foot. Let's do it a few more times. Flat, ball, toe. Now let's do it in a different direction. So now we will place our left, uh, right foot forward, flat, and now we're going to do the same thing. Flat, ball first, toe. So don't be in a rush to get your weight backwards because that will not give you ability to uh, use your feet, right? So it, uh, it will not give you ability to go through all foot positions. So first foot position flat, Next one is the ball, and the next one is the toe. And again, flat, ball, toe. I'll turn around so you can see side, maybe this way. Uh, now we'll work our left foot. You can see flat, ball, toe. Going back, flat, Ball, toe, and again, flat, ball, toe. 
I hope you can see the, uh, the difference. So I hope you can recognize that it's not all loosey-goosey and it's not wobbly. So um, let's do this now from the back. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, focus now on the foot, which is behind. So flat, so we can split the weight between uh, two feet. Flat foot behind. Now, instead of going right away to the toe, now, let's focus on pumping this one. Let's just practice this a few times. So, ball to the flat. Ball to the flat. So, if I grab the shoe, so you can see this part of the foot, the sole of your foot. If you are rising on the ball, this part is not separated from the floor. This part of the shoe stays on the floor while your heel is working. So we're basically bending our toes. Okay? So I will turn back again. So it goes, maybe, actually, maybe this is a good angle. So we're going to go from right foot being flat to the right foot being on the ball. And let's just practice this a few times. Flat. Ball, flat, ball, flat, ball. Now, I'll give you a second to think about something. Which step we're going to use it in? In Roomba. Yeah, so one of the seven rumba walks would be the check forward walk, and that's exactly where you use it. You use it in figures like New, York, uh, New Yorker, you like a uh, open hip twist on a man's uh, part. We can do this in a man's part of the uh, sliding door. Uh, there's plenty of steps, plenty of uh, figures uh, where you can use it. So I will demonstrate what I mean. So if you do the forward walk, now you can see how the back foot is going to the ball it doesn't go to the toe you see so we stay on the ball of the foot maybe i'll show from this direction ball of the foot ball of the foot ball of the foot flat all right very good so uh let's carry on maybe we'll do it in the next direction let's switch the legs now the left uh, foot will focus on so it will go from ball from flat to the ball, flat to the ball. When I say ball, keep in mind, don't switch the edge. Can you see how the foot is going on the outside edge and bubbles? Yes, yeah, so we need to make sure that it stays to inside edge of the foot. So we're going from flat to the ball, from flat to the ball, from flat to the ball. And if we decide later to go to the toe, and you can see how it creates again the extension of the whole line, right? So working strength and the lines, strength and the lines, strength and the lines. So this was the first column, the foot positions. Now the second column, foot work, yeah, or articulation of the foot. I like to think of it as a, uh, as I mentioned earlier are in motion, right? So we, now um, there's a few things involved. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about this first. Um, the whole body is, uh, the whole body is a part of that movement. So we, we, we can have a very, very beautiful foot position. Yes, so simply because our feet are arched, right? So you can see the foot is arched. Uh, you can see how the toe can be stretched. You can see how it can be flexed. Um, but it doesn't mean when I will move, when I will dance, that I will have uh, equally excellent uh, foot work or foot articulation. Uh, because there's other things that can be on the way of reaching this excellence. 
And one of the things, one of the most important things I find is your breathing. So since we already sit down, um, let's work with you on this breathing, okay? What do I mean by that? Let me demonstrate first um, uh, how it would look with or without breathing. So footwork without breathing. So I might, we even maybe will experience like a little bit of a um, stress. Yes, uh, we don't feel stable. We don't feel like we can rearrange things on a spot. We in that tight corner where we have no ability to adjust. So if we add the breathing, and when I say breathing, uh, I don't mean this. I don't know if you can see me. But if I, let me move closer to you. So when I say breathing, I do not mean this. It's not smelling, okay? It's a breathing with your lungs and with your body, allowing inhale as well as exhale happen. Yeah? So if we breathe with you, and I will do this just sitting down so nothing else interrupts us. Um, so if I use the breathing, I need to, of course, inhale. And if I want to go in somewhere else, I have to exhale again. So it's... Don't be afraid to make the sound. Make it full. Trust me, the movement of, the, of this uh, body, the, including the whole body into this process, will help your feet, will help your um, uh, balance, will help your, help your stability. It's uh, not... Uh, it's an, it, it is a separate subject, but it is so tight, linked together with your footwork or with the foot articulation that I see that it's inevitable uh, uh, to do. It's something absolutely necessary to do to improve your footwork. Yeah, so no breathing, very difficult to do the good footwork and uh, to, no, moving, no moving the body. It's very difficult to do the good uh, foot uh, articulation in motion. Yes, especially when the things uh, uh, getting more complicated, when you have a more difficult choreography, when you have to introduce uh, more uh, interesting rhythms. Um, so, let's try this. Right now, we will point, set up left foot flat on the floor and the right foot on the toe. And we will try to breathe with our body while feet are stay solid on the floor. Maybe even some basic step. You can see the difference, I'm sure. So this would be the first thing to explore working on a footwork. Yes, because now it's connected to how your body's weight is moving. Yeah, and how your feet are working. So the next thing I want to talk about would be uh, our foot, uh, our uh, weight transfer. Yes, yeah? so we're going to move our body weight from one foot to another to the point when we think we're gonna fail, we're gonna fall, we're gonna, it's gonna be too much, it's gonna go too far, except it's not. So we're gonna maneuver weight first from uh, front foot, uh, back foot to the front foot. One, and then we can maneuver the body weight to the back foot. And again, to the front foot, and to the back foot, and to the front foot, and to the back foot. Foot, and to the front foot and to the back foot. Now we'll go from side to side, same thing. So 
one foot and next and over the right foot and over the left foot over the right foot over the left foot now as this is online masterclass i unfortunately cannot see you but let's just make one thing clear now i moved on the right foot mm, can i move further yes so move further over the foot yes but still maintaining that turning of your shin bone so you don't roll to the outside edge but get, let your weight go far 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 over then transfer weight on the next foot let your weight go further get on the right foot let your weight go further okay i'm getting the signs here uh, that uh, we are close to running out of time but I want to bring just a last point working on your foot work, on foot coordination. Uh, the third thing would be pivoting on the ball of the foot. So if we would decide we need to change direction from here to here. Now, what we need to uh, pay attention to is, is the standing foot pivoting enough? Now, pay attention to the right leg. It, did this foot pivot enough? I will do it in a different direction. Forward walk, turning. Now you can see the foot finished. What would be considered not enough? Now you can see how much turnout is unnecessary and it's not going to make uh, the back walk easier. It's actually going to make it more challenging. So then the things start piling up and we end up uh, uh, either losing balance or uh, just in general being more stressed. Yes. So but this is the least the last thing we want to do because when we perform the first uh thing i would think about is do i appear uh do, does my movement have the sense of sophistication does the movement has uh the sense of ease or is it just a mechanical movement well uh as better you know mechanical movement is less mechanical it looks actually yeah so um as more you're aware of how your feet position and how your feet transition from one uh, position to another, as more free you're going to be. Um, so the bad news that there is no shortcut to excellence. But the good news that you can have enjoy your time if you pay close, uninterrupted attention to the uh, basic, essential things, it actually can be very pleasant. You will have a good time dancing. You will have a good time exploring. You will have a good time. And the things will just start coming to you. But don't be in a rush, my point is. Experience different things. Ex uh, uh, but with a... Understand one thing, nobody is rushing you. You need to take as much time as you need to get yourself to the point when you're happy with how excellent your footwork or whatever else you're working on is. Um, and it's starting really, uh, everything I think starts with the preparation. So if you uh, getting ready for your class. Get it ready night before, get ready tonight before. Think what you're gonna wear, your shoes, are they clean? Are they uh, ready to be, uh, to be used? Uh, are they, make sure that your shoes actually sitting tight and have enough support, but a flexibility. Uh, you don't want any uh, of this little 
uh, things be on the way. So get clear, get prepared, uh, get sorted out and uh, go on the class looking forward uh, to do whatever you uh, plan to do. Um, anyway, this is, to, uh, this is all for today. And I hope you will join me later on for some smooth class because we cannot obviously use all of those things and it's, it's so much fun to, uh, uh, to dance and explore. Uh, and I'll see you probably next time together with Alexandra. Thank you so much for tuning in.